morning, good morning, good morning. It's your boy Sin. It's the top of the morning. I hope everybody feeling good, feeling great, feeling blessed. Working hard to be successful. All right, y'all. Now, before we get in this video, you already know we got to handle some business. So, if you're new to the channel, be sure that you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit it. Press it. Tap it. All right. Good money. Good money. I appreciate the love. Now, make sure that you hit that thumbs up. You know what I mean? And make sure that y'all notifications is turned on so you be notified when I drop brand new videos. And today's video is a request video by my boy, Big Easy, who said, bro, can you do a video on how I set up my TV and my PlayStation and how big of a power inverter do you need? So shout out to you, Big Easy. Give him my boy, Big Easy, that Timor G shout out. Um, Let's get into this video. So, I grab the let me grab the camera. So, as you know, I got a Volvo 780. And let me show you how I got it set up. Let me turn the light on. Trying to get as much light in here as possible. All right, y'all. So, anyway, I got a 780 Volvo. And the way I set it up is you're going to need a few things. Now, you're going to need an extension cord, which I have down here plugged up to my power strip. Now, my power strip runs up under the bed into my, as you can see, it goes up into my side box into my power inverter now big easy what you're going to need is a good power inverter i got a 1500 watt power inverter my refrigerator is plugged into it also and that's my refrigerator so um the refrigerator comes up to about my hip size i'm about five seven so but anyway 1500 watt power inverter then here is where I got my TV. Um, wait, I gotta hold this a certain way. Cause I got, this is the wall mount that I bought from Walmart. So 32 to a 47 inch TV mount. That's how it looks. So, what I did was, and you got to make sure you get your drill. Now, you see, I got a black and decker. And down here, I got the battery. And it just plugs, it, it just plugs right into your regular um, power inverter. Look. This is 150, this 150 watts, plug right into the lighter socket. And I also use this for my leaf blower to blow out the trailer. So you gotta get you a nice drill. And I bought me a, dr a drill bit set. Let me, let me get out the light. So, um, and what I did was, I put the bracket, let me try to move the TV. So you see how I did it? Now, this piece comes off. Let me get it. Here you go. Okay. Now, you can take these off, because this is gonna come with it. Okay, so move this up, and then you can see the screw there, one in the middle, and then the bottom one. I drilled the holes over here, so you see it's three, right there. So that's how I mounted it. Now, the screws that come with it, um, I didn't use in the cabinet 
due to the fact because um, they was longer than they needed to be. So I went in the truck stop and let me open the box. Here it goes. Okay. So of course you know the TV comes with the TV stands. Um here's the screws that come with the with the mount. They too long. So I mean I could have probably used let me take it out. Hold on, y'all. I can sit this down. Alright. So Here's everything that came with it. Now, these was too long. I felt these was too short. So what I did was, I went into the Flying J. I bought me a um, little set of screws and nuts. And then I bought another set of screws and nuts to make sure I got the right size for the back of the TV because there was no screws that's for the back of the TV. Um, as you see on here, these arms, I didn't use them. I didn't need to use them. And then here's the other set of screws that came with the mount. So, too long. These screws don't, these screws ain't for the TV. And these is too big also. So what I did was, I bought these bolts. Which is, you see how big they are? So look for this, look for this one. That size. And get you two packs of these. Because there's only two that come in here. Make sure you use the washer. So, I did that, and I think I just found the screws right here for the TV. Those look kind of long to be for the back. Nah, these is for the legs. That's for these. So, the TV don't come with the, the, the mount screw for the back. So, what I did was I found some small little screws that I used to put in the back of the TV. So, let me put this back. And grab the camera. All right. So, basically, I put the screws. Let me pull it out. Right here, right here. So, it's four here. And... The TV comes right out. And look, from my driver's seat, I can sit down. See that? From my driver's seat. And from over here in my bed, let me lay down. Let me put it this way. Okay, so like if I'm laying down, you can do it this way. And watch TV that way. So that's how I got it set up. You sweep my swinging arm. So what I do is I don't ride with it. I can adjust it this way and stuff like that. Or push it in some more like this. Up against the cabinet a little bit more. Now, when I'm driving, what I do is. Let me turn it this way. What I do is I push it in to the cabinet. See? I push it in like that because it keeps it from keeps it from shaking. Plus the mount is on real strong. And then I got the PlayStation back there, of course. Now, with the PlayStation, what you're going to have to do, because the back of the PlayStation give off a lot of heat. So my homeboy, my homeboy T told me to buy a turbo fan. Um, I think it's like 
25 bucks at a truck stop to blow cool air in the cabinet because in the back of the PlayStation, it gives off a lot of heat back there. So that's how I got it set up. And then I put my little fasteners back on. And my truck got like a little antenna cord, so that's how I'm able to get um, TV. I bought me some new HDMI's. I got the gold-plated ones for better connection and quality. And I run an extension cord from the back of the TV down the side of the cabinet to a power strip. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy me some bungee cords and I'm going to... Um, sit the PlayStation upright and just bungee it so I don't have to take it out of there and sit it on the box but basically that's how you hook it up so my boy Big Easy I hope that helped you out thank you for requesting this video so shout out to my boy Big Easy who want to know how to get the PlayStation hooked up um and I just went and bought some more games y'all um I got the NBA I got Burnout um, of course, you know, I bought me a movie. Um, I haven't played this yet, Doom. And, of course, you know, I got the Hall of Fame edition. So, and that's it. So, I'm wrapping this video up. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you catch this video late, hit the subscribe button. If you want to follow me on my social media links, they all in the description box down below. Leave your comments, and I'll holler at y'all on the next video. Let me see what I'm going to do next. All right, peace.